Yo, what's poppin' playboys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be installing Catch Can on Dusty. And we're gonna be doing the valve adjustment because I'll allow you guys to pause. What's up, guys? It's Sean from the future. But wait, you guys are watching the video right now. So wait, does that make it Sean from the past? Whatever, it doesn't even matter. But yeah, I said I was gonna do the valve adjustment the same video. But I lied. I'm just gonna make this a uh, separate video from the valve adjustment video. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video. Keep watching. Keep telling me to do it. So since it's quarantined and I got nothing else to do, I might as well just do it, just to check. I feel like nothing's wrong with the motor, but just just to make sure, just uh, prevent, pre prevented, pre pre you guys know what I'm trying to say, just maintenance. So uh, yeah, first we're gonna start a cash can. I was gonna do the valve adjustment today, but the sun's going down and I don't wanna be out here with the mosquitoes and stuff. Cause if you guys don't know, South Florida mosquitoes are like this damn big, so yeah. So I was thinking about where I wanted to mount the cash can and I feel like the best place would be like literally right there in the corner. Cause when you move this, there's literally nothing there. And it's just like an emptiness of, of emptiness. So if I just put the can there, I feel like it's gonna look fire. I don't know. I feel like it's gonna look fire. So yeah, uh, basically what you guys are gonna do, if you guys do purchase this, um, there's two lines that run into the intake and into the PVC valve. So uh, yeah, that's, this is literally it for install. Just mount it, get some hoses. I got six feet, so three feet for you know both hoses. Probably gotta use less, cause this is probably like two feet right here. But yeah, um, two lines. One goes in intake, one goes in the PVC. Uh, I think the intake one is the out, and then the PVC one is the in. Cause if it goes in, and then yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, let's get it, let's get it done. For the win, look at that. Made my own little tool. Let's we'll focus on it. Look at that. Yes, sir. Alright, so cash cans in looking pretty nice in that little position right there. I'm not gonna even lie to you guys. And now it's time to route these hoses. Well those hoses. Well with these bungs. Alright, so here's the hose. So if you guys have stock manifold, that hose is gonna be like extra long. So it's like literally under the manifold. So you know, if you do the RBC swap, that thing right there is easy to pull out. Alright guys, so I cut the hose. There's a six feet hose, so I cut it in half to so three feet each. And now I'm gonna just check real quick. Alright, so I have a lot. What's it called left? But yeah. All right guys, so basically that's how it's set up. The outlet goes into the intake and then the inlet goes into the PVC valve. So right now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take them off again and I'm gonna put these little uh, clamps, well, not clamps, sorry. I'm gonna put these little tightening clamps on them. And then uh, yeah, start the car and see what it does. All right, moment of truth. Let's try this bad boy out. I 
middle. Start it up perfectly fine. See if there's any codes. Nope, no codes. Uh, listen to the idle though. Sounding good. All right. So everything's done right. Engine sounds good. So basically when you guys have this installed, you guys want to check it every like thousand miles. Since this one's so small, not gonna be really to like hold a lot of oil. So every thousand miles is recommended to chase uh, to check it. I'll probably do mine every thousand. <laughs> All right guys, so I'm gonna explain to you guys why I installed the cash can. The reason why I installed the cash can is because Usually your engine produces like oil and like gunk and all that moisture and stuff and it gets pushed out from the PVC valve into your intake manifold which goes right back into your engine. So to eliminate that, that recycle of just gunk and stuff, you install a cash can. So literally all I did is install a cash can, ran two different lines, well not two different, yeah, two different lines, one for the inlet and one for the outlet. The inlet goes in the PVC valve and the outlet goes in the intake. So basically that's it. That's how I'm gonna stop all that carbon buildup and all that mushy, gushy, wet stuff. If I had a picture of my old manifold, you guys could see all the gunk inside the manifold. Or you guys go to my uh, RBC video, you guys can see like the gunk inside the RB, I mean, you guys can see the gunk inside the stock manifold. So yeah, that's the reason why I threw this bad boy on. And it looks pretty damn good. Now I just wanna clean it up a little bit. Like this line right here, I don't want it to be like sticking up. I could just like have it stay down like that. It'll be perfect. And then this, I just want to zip tie it. Well, yeah, I'm just zip tie it or something. I don't know. But yeah, I really want to get this down. I don't really like it just flapping like that. 